What's good, everybody? It's your girl, Jaquela A. And I'm coming at you with a different type of video today from a different angle. I'm only wearing this face mask because my client just left. But I'm going to show you guys my setup today. It's very humble. It's very, you know, low-key. It's not an extravagant setup. It's literally the room in my mom's house that used to be my room. When I moved out and I couldn't do nails where I lived, she let me use this room. So it's a very small room. And like I said, it's a very humble beginnings, but I do want to do this video and I want to show off this setup because I think it'll be really interesting to see my growth as I get like better set up and put more money into my space because I eventually want to invest and have a very, very nice space, but that's just not my level right now. That's not where I'm at but also because i think it'll be really helpful to y'all so i'm just going to take you around a whole entire room and just show you everything that i have i'm going to show you what my collection consists of i have things coming in weekly at this point like i'm always investing trying to keep up with trends trying to buy new things all the time so it'll change as time goes but this is just what i have today i didn't prep it prepare it make it look any type of way i really want to give you a raw depiction of where i am and the space that i work out of so that's what we're gonna do today and yeah let's get into it okay so i just walked into the room and i'm standing at the door and this is what you see on the other side all right you guys so this is the door right here I have a rack behind it. This is my coat and my purse. And my clients can hang their things right here. So once you come in, you have where I work, my whole entire collection, a ring light, really good for taking pictures, TV for, you know, watching something. Some of my clients want to chit chat. Some of them want to listen to music. Some of them want to talk on the phone, but I always have something playing. I have a little complimentary station of snacks here, a seat just in case they have to bring a kid or just in case I'm doing a mother daughter or maybe I'm doing a bring a friend special. But typically because it's such a small space, I don't do guests. I have storage here and supplies. And then this used to be where I kept supplies, but now it's just a mosh posh of stuff I need to organize. Okay, so I'm gonna start behind the door the door i'm gonna start behind the door at this random situation this pull out drawer was my first piece of storage when all i had was a dinner tray some type of cutting board on top of that so that the monomer wouldn't stain the wood and this storage unit this is like first start out still just like fresh off of um practicing like this was my first unit the clothes on top don't mind them i have a company where i sell clothes with one of my friends so that's some of the clothes but inside of here now is just a bunch of randomness like some so golf bows i don't use those anymore a uh, spare light just in case a bunch of stuff when i was still practicing see like two practice hands this was just like a throwback so because i didn't really need it as far as my storage i just kept it for random stuff this is where i keep anything that i would have to restock all of my pedicure essentials and some of the chemicals at the bottom that i use for cleaning and for doing nails this is alcohol and acetone i get my acetone from sally's i get my alcohol from a store we have here locally it's called woodman's it's a grocery store but they have gallons of alcohol for nine dollars best deal ever i used to use these, this pan for soak offs i don't anymore underneath it is glitter stock cards that i used to use for pictures don't use that anymore this is my pedicure setup this is everything that i use to do a pedicure let me know if you need like an in-depth you know one two on everything that i use to do a pedicure i get these jenna products from sally's and just everything else comes from amazon or dollar tree dollar tree has a lot of stuff for doing nails and pedicures this pedicure tub i love it it has bubbles it's heating it's vibrating it's like a quadruple threat and i got that off of 
Amazon for like 55, maybe 60 bucks. Have some bath bombs. I have a whole bucket of them and I got them from Dollar Tree. This I used to use to prop up people's legs. I have a different method now, but when I was using it, it was working good. And then Epsom salt that I got from Walmart. I have my leftover swipe, a random bottle, just, it was for me to drink water, some bags for my garbage, some chargers underneath, extra hand sanitizer, extra alcohol when I couldn't find the gallons. I have candles because obviously monomer is a strong smell, so I try to light a candle. Monomer is stronger than the candle, but still I try. I have this for just my clients if they need a tissue i don't want to give them a, like a viva paper towel those are expensive so i had to start buying these for them randomness randomness this is my book from when i did not have a booking site or a booking link and i was still taking appointments via the um just writing them down and trying to trying to keep up with them here goes some right there this is from 2019 and overindulgence beauty is the company that i own with my friend we sell hair and clothes these towels are for manicures and pedicures viva paper towels i use those since the very beginning natalie carmona is the reason i use those and now i use them in my house very thick very good quality very good for doing nails but recently in like last month i started using these which are a much thicker paper towel i think they're for like oil changes on cars very absorbent bought the single ones off of amazon but that was a flop i should have went to walmart and bought this big baby much better deal so <laughs> just go in the store or you know maybe you could find them online at some type of auto parts store but yeah it was definitely better to just buy them in a six pack than to buy all these rolls separate have leftover chips because i do offer a snack bar this is just you know what i have left so we come off the storage unit right next to it is the chair that people could sit in like i said i do not like people to bring guests because this room is extremely small as you can see i'm about to clear this whole room and like a 30 minute video it's very small but i don't really like people to bring guests also because of covid and when you're working out of a house you got to take that extra type of precaution to keep the people in your life safe and that's another reason that i don't like guests also i've had very bad situations where guests have literally like let their kids damage things and then that that kind of scarred me off of having guests but anyway have a, like a free little snack bar this is just some things it was very fully stocked so they do be my clients do be taking the snacks out the snack bar the water underneath this jug of water here is just tap water i use it for my soak offs where I'll, I'll get to how i use that for my soak offs this is a heater here i have a very little tv nothing major at all put on some hulu some netflix just so my clients can have something to watch I have one of those candles, some slippers underneath if my feet hurt because I work third shift at a regular job. I literally get off of that job and then I start come, I come here and I start doing clients. Sometimes my feet hurt, so I got those. And then that's the tissue I was talking about for my client. Now we are over here. This um, ring light is from Noor. It got, um, came off of Amazon for a hundred bucks. This is the case for it. This crate I use for the dirty towels that I just showed you over there. As I use them, I start putting them in here. When this is full, I wash them. These little bit of snacks are for me. That's my personal collection. A little bit of Red Bull if I get too tired. This is where I heat up the water for my soak offs. It's an electric kettle. And that little thing right there has the water in it. And when I need the water, I put it in here. Electric kettle heats up the water to boiling point and like two minutes no lie so it was very useful under here i have the chemicals that i bleach for the most which is this acetone that i get for 15 dollars from sally's and this is the big glamming glitz this is a hundred dollars at my local nail supply store so oh this is a lamp that i thought was gonna be led i got it from walmart it is not led it's very yellow very pretty 
have no use for it, so I just sit here. This is this is my light that I got off Amazon. It is a sunlight. I do not much care for it. I am plotting on the Kiara Skylight. They're two fifty online, but at my local nail supply store, they're one eighty. So I'm plotting on one or two of those. This is my prop fur that I got off of Amazon. This is an empty jar that I got from Hobby Lobby. It used to hold a clear, but I transformed it. Uh, I transferred it to somewhere else. This is a little wooden stick and a exfoliating scrub from Dove and a little bowl that I do manicures in. I have a couple male clients that come and get manicures. And so that's for and them. Here we are going to get into the collection. I have six of these drawers. One is right there. We're gonna come back to the first one. Oops, excuse me, and start at the very top. In here, I have tips for doing press ons and my practice hand. I don't use these tips on clients unless they request it. And I don't sadly have a lot of clients that get really, really long nails. I wish I did. These are my favorite tips for um, doing press ons. They're jelly tips. Let me show you. These tips are like gel. They're like a replica of the gel tips. They're not gel though, as you, if you can see. I can squeeze them and spread them out a little bit, but they're very sturdy. It takes a lot to spread them out. So just imagine all the layers of acrylic or polish that you put over it to make a press on. And they're a decent size. They're decent length. And they have like a little curve in them to like simulate an apex. So they really give that illusion of you got your nails done. <laughs> like you have an acrylic set. I really do love these for press-ons. I got them from AliExpress. I have like 10 packs. They're also really good for the lazy girl method. I am going to be doing a video soon on me doing the lazy girl method on me with poly gel. And I have several packs. I, this is four. This plus the one that I just opened. But I think I have like three more packs. I have a bunch of tips that i don't use anymore but i used to use these all the time they come off of amazon these are the bu bu tips and then i got these random tips also off of amazon and yeah i just struggled for a long time finding something that makes me happy so i just tried a bunch of stuff and that's why i got a bunch of stuff okay after that is the drawer with all my press on supplies i actually made these for a girl and she never came and got them i was so upset i put so much time into making them and she decided to not come and get them these are an assortment of tips i couldn't even tell you where i got them from at this point i have so many some more of those tips i was talking about and then all the things that i offer in my press ons which is a file cuticle pusher i offer an alcohol wipe a buffer it's not in this drawer and then I have more of these pink packs at the bottom as well. This is my press on drawer and I have some pre-made that people buy for me. This is a Mosh Posh drawer of polishes that are not gel except these. These are gel. I got inks. I got bloomings. I got the other half of duos that I got from DNC. I mean D and D, sorry D and D. I have some of these really pretty glitters from D and D that I just saw at my local nail supply store and got. I have some random here sky when I was trying to find alternatives from D and D for gel. I found better alternatives, but we'll get there soon. This is just a random situation. I have these pots. They don't work without base coat, and even still with base coat, they tend to chip. They're very low quality. I got these gel polishes from when I first, these right here, these little ones, from when I first started practicing with gel. Honestly, I keep them from memories because I don't even use them. I got some prep that I don't use. This is a random assortment of, might not need it now, but might need it one day. A random base coat. This one little piece of cuticle oil left, it's like four cuticle oils in one. At the point, I was just filling this back up who knows really what it is but it came from jellish and i really used to like it inks from born pretty and gels from a jelly polish from a 
yeah, just randomness, you know. Jesus, can I close it? Yes, I can close it. Okay. Another situation, but this is much more of the colors. A lot of these are Etsy. I mean, Etsy. They came from Walmart, Target. This is Color Club. I really like that color. Sally Hansen is up in here. Just a lot of um, drugstore polishes from when I first started. This is the Gelish. This is a full bottle of the one I just showed you that I said I, I was mixing a lot. These are Beatles polishes. I really do like these. Haven't invested in any more since I bought this little six pack. But I do like the quality of Beatles polish. They also have my favorite inexpensive top coat. I have a um, cuticle softener for my manicures. And if people just really have hard cuticles, even if I'm doing sets and have hard cuticles, I'll use a cuticle softener, just not this one. I'll show you the other one I use. This is really my favorite top coat. It's so expensive though. I haven't bought another one since I bought that one. It's hard for me to drop that money on that top coat, but it is beautiful. This is a random, really, really dark brown. You might think it's black, but it's not. It's dark brown from Valentino. When I bought this from a fellow, um, well, I'm, I'm an, a, an aspiring nail tech. She's actually an, an, a nail tech and a business owner, and she was selling it on her Facebook story. I went to go grab it. I liked how it worked so much, and I bought more Valentino because I bought this. I really like Valentino um, gel. This is Beatles. Is this a base? It's a base coat, but I love Beatles top coat. So that's a base coat. The ombre gel. Bought this from Not Polish. It didn't really work for me. I have hope with it though. I still want to, you know, be able to master this ombre gel. It's kind of difficult though. This is that here sky white. Not my favorite white. This is the is I gel beauty. It's I gel beauty black and not my favorite black and this is this is the beetle top coat that i said i love i have like 17 of these legit some mask some liners for the mask my favorite files come from my local beauty supply store they are 80 80 grit zebra rectangles i found these on amazon y'all this cost 22 dollars at my local local nail supply store i found on amazon for 16 or 17. i used to use this to put my brushes in i have something else behind me these are spare containers for mixing custom colors and this is ribbons plates and different things to be encapsulated inside the nails my mom bought me this when i first started doing nails really cheap off of amazon this is what i use to put people's feet on i use this to prop their feet up when i am doing pedicures or gel polishes that's why you can see color all through it definitely spill some green polish on that okay number two up here on top of the second one i have my old hand rest arm rest it came with my desk but i have a different one now i still use this one for manicures though i have the mccart nail dust collector it really is only worth your while if you clean it often if you don't excuse me if you don't clean it often it's not gonna really work and right now mine is kind of dirty so i still prop it up under my clients just to catch some dust but I don't even turn it on if it's not clean. It's really like kind of pointless. I use <laughs> you guys. I use this menu from a crab shack locally where I live. This is um a little crab shack here in Milwaukee. They sent me this in the mail and I use it to catch glitter for sugar nails. Like put the finger there and I'll pour the stuff and then dust it off and then pour the stuff right back in the container so i use this for sugar nails for pixies all type of things it works it's very sturdy cardboard and um yeah you know it gets the job done that's all that matters i have three masks i have masks all over this place it's very important to be wearing a mask always nails are not doing nails to be wearing a mask so i got a bunch of those this funnel is for pouring my acetone and monomer into squeeze jars. And this is really just a Mod Podge drawer. Pink gloves that I got from good old Sally's. And these babies I recently got. They are my business cards with my logo. 
this was a picture of me from a night out. Somebody took it and made me this really cute logo. All of y'all don't care about my number. I know y'all ain't gonna call me or nothing. But those are my handles on Facebook and Instagram. And my number's on there. Just a little simple, little cute little car. You know, nothing crazy. Okay, we are on the fourth one. And on top, we got all the stuff that I use immediately, like, every single time I do nails. Alcohol, acetone, hand sanitizer, monomer, some um, antibacterial disinfectant. And this is the new cup that I keep. Oh, one falling out. That I keep my brushes in. I have so many. But would you believe me if I told you I only have really one that I love, love. And it fell down there. You probably can't see it a little bit. So after I do this, I have to get it. Well, let me get it now because I really want to show y'all it. All right, I reached in there and I got it. It's a very small handle brush. It came from Nail Supply Glamour. It has a little effect in there like a little water flower effect and some multicolor steel aluminum whatever so it's cute it is a size 12 did it come pinched it didn't but i just kind of keep it in this flat little shape and so that's my favorite brush also i use these tony lee nail brushes you can't see nothing on them they got that aqua effect. I've had them for some while, so they ran down a little bit. They did come pinch, and they have a tendency to separate in the middle and do that little weird thing. So I try to remember to soak them in monomer, or at least, you know, rub them down in monomer instead of just leaving them with acetone on them because I know that that's how I really just ruined them and frayed them. So, because of that, I don't use them that much. But, like I said, I know better now. So, that's not what I'm doing with the other one. And I'm just trying to treat them right. You know, your brushes can only last as long as you treat them right. So, I have so many. I've tried so many. And would you believe it? Out of all of these that I've tried and experimented with, I only really use three. I used to use the Alpha brushes. But they discontinue any size bigger than 10, I do believe. I got this little brush off of Amazon. I was really upset that they did that too because I really did like my alpha brushes. Back here, I have Barbicide. I have a big Mia Secret Clear. Not my favorite. I'll be buying the Young Nails Clear soon. These are both empty. Or are they? I do believe they're both empty. And a lotion for after service. And so, let's get into the drawer. First thing that I have is a bling drawer. I mean, a bling tray from Michaels. And all of this bling is from AliExpress, except some of those up there. These are like Gucci, Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Big Charms. And those came from. Did those come from AliExpress? If not, they probably came from Glamour Nail Supply or Zule. I mean, Nail Supply Glamour or Zule. One of the two. One of the two. I have another one. Just all different kind. None of them are Swarovski, but they shine beautifully. Like, you can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing. They shine beautifully. More stones. They came in the package. I kept them in there. These came from Nail Supply Glamour. Just little letter charms. And then I have more from AliExpress. That's really my go-to for non Swarovski gorgeous stones for piercings of nails. They always get caught in my client's hair. I have not had much success closing them back. So I don't really be using them like that because they tend to snack have a bunch of these little random cheap pots of bling gel oh except this one even though it's in the same packaging so that's really that's tea that's really tea on the quality if it's in the same package you know mm, okay nail by john so i got nail by john and some of these random ones off of 
um amazon not my favorite none of the three none of the three are my favorite more for nail piercings but like i said i'm already using two gucci charms that i got off of zule uh, it came in a four pack i used to very cheap uh random charms that i got um random rhinestones that i got off of amazon they get the job done for accents you know sometimes you can mix and match sometimes you could put a couple of stones with some Swarovski to give that effect but these are very inexpensive little cheap rhinestones but I love my stones even if they're not Swarovski I had no idea I was buying this many <laughs> gun charms these are little gun charms I don't know nothing about guns I can't tell you if this is a pistol or a revolver I can't tell you what this gun is but I thought it was a 10 pack it ended up being a 100 pack Another one of the little cheap things that I'm careful. And some more bling. We really don't have to spend this much time on bling. I got some more Gucci. But I love it. Mickey Mouse. I don't any Mickey Mouse. I want to do Mickey Mouse Gucci nails with the Mickey Mouse Gucci print. These Chanel ones. I have better Chanel ones. I don't really care for those ones with that stone in the middle like that. Bought these specifically for a client that was doing the back wheel. Barbie said we didn't even use them. So yeah, just some randomness underneath the big uh, trays because I'll be running out of space. I need more trays. It's a lot going on with me. During the big sale that um, I Gel Beauty had, stickers were a dollar. I went crazy. This is not even a fraction of what I have. I've used so many and I've opened so many. And you'll see it in a minute. But I did go crazy. So that's all of the designer stickers. Just all type of things. Butterflies. All types. All types and all kinds. Foils. These are all of my foils. These came from Natalie Carmona's. Get Nail 32. Young Nails. These were really cheap during that time. That they were having Black Friday sale. Veronica. And then some of them are just between AliExpress and Amazon, but I have so many. So this whole side is foils, except underneath here, some four point stars, some sequence, some pigments. Got that from my local nail supply store. And that's just that on that. These 3D uh, butterflies, I was obsessed. When I first saw them on Instagram, I was obsessed. I bought so many. I've only used them like twice, but I bought so many. I was obsessed. Also, these gummy bears or these resin bears that look like gummy bears. I was obsessed. I bought so many. Didn't even use them. I used these ones on myself. Very cute, but I went crazy for really no reason. But <laughs> that's how I am. When I like something, I really like it. I was with more bears. <laughs> more butterflies. So, yeah, when I go crazy, I go crazy. And then, this I've had since I first started, I'm going to say 2019. When the fruit nails was popping, I had got a big bunch of all types and all kinds. And... Um, I forgot I had these during Valentine's Day. But I didn't really get any inquiries about just like Kawaii Valentine nails anyway. I do love Kawaii nails though. I really do. It's a montage of just a whole bunch of junk on the nail. I love junk nails. What else is on the nail? These will be cute and some kawaii nails. Yeah, y'all get the vibes. Those, the foils and the big kawaii pieces. I have flowers, some pastel little rhinestones. This really shouldn't be in here. We're gonna put it on the side in there. I bought these big old foils off Amazon. I had no idea they was gonna be this big. No clue. Won't be buying foil for a very, very long time. These are also dry flowers and sequins under here. What's in this corner? More sequins and pieces to put in the nail. 
These are molds that I was going to use during Valentine's Day, but I just had too many ideas. I couldn't use every one of my ideas. These also were for Valentine's Day. I couldn't use them. I had too many ideas. I ended up using these in my demo video for um, my Ready Want a Hand, and I got these off of Etsy. I'm obsessed with Etsy now, y'all. Etsy got so much stuff. These are off Amazon. These are all types of butterflies, sugar. Um, I think these came from Born Pretty. These different confectioner sugar looking fine glitters. And so, yeah, I got these um, pom-poms. That's kind of coming back. I know that that was popular in like, what, 2018, 19, but it's kind of coming back. I'm getting some requests for those, so I bought those. And I got these angel foils that are also really popular these little iridescent foils and some other foils that i use and once i took them out of the packaging they couldn't go back pretty into the packaging so they had to just live right there on this side i have a random sheet of butterfly stickers and also some more stickers and foils that were for valentine's day but they came too late this is a whole host oh no this is my stencils that i got for my airbrush machine i used them in a set of nails already and they're really really pretty i'm gonna do another color so that i can make um a video showing y'all how to do them but there are videos on youtube showing you how to do them so you definitely could go look up any one of those videos but i'm gonna make my own and put my own spin on it i'm gonna make the impress on so here i am showing you guys a bunch of stickers i've opened these came from a whole host of places like they they came from igel beauty they came from amazon they came from aliexpress um, express not express <laughs> aliexpress nail supply glamour has um uh, very pretty stickers i've had these for a very long time i don't know where they came from these came off of etsy these came also from amazon where did these come from dippy cow dippy cow these came from dippy cow don't even use them like that this is a black girl with a black business i think her name is kiki yeah her name is kiki nail by key underscore kiki nail supply store so you know i love to support like y'all already know how i'm coming i really do love to support i have not used them because i have so many but these are a bunch of louis vuitton some of them are themed for halloween and yeah so i got those i got some random foils i got these jewel tones rose gold and gold type of home pigment for um somebody that needed some press-ons i have some more in these clear packages because a girl locally not that one in the, the black these black ones a girl locally has a nail supply store so i'm gonna go grab these from her just to support this is my favorite all over just a b multi-purse purpose um chrome powder that i get off of amazon I have a bunch of those this was my favorite one but it's starting to run out so i don't really use it anymore it came from you know, like Lander, and i had that for a long time it lasted a long time these are flakes that go with the next drawer i don't know why they're in this drawer and they are just big pieces of cut out silver gold and copper pieces i love the effect that they give i've used if it wasn't these specifically one specific ones i've used something very similar and they were really pretty i have a lot of these cutouts before i really learned how to do a smile line just from um from acrylic and freehand method these were a huge help 
10 out of 10 would recommend definitely buy the smile line cutters if you are struggling to create a smile line in the end the effect that it gives truly can be the exact same no lie it can look so so close to the same thing depending on which one you use and how you use them so be patient with yourself and realize that if you can't do something it's always a cheap code out there somewhere don't be afraid of that because there is you know it's a learning curve sometimes and it's still so so much that i cannot do and i do not hesitate to get help wherever i need help so i would just recommend the same for you all this is a drawer full of glitter some of them are custom mixes this is not i don't know why i just shook it at that time this actually came from nail heaven but some of them are custom mixes like these bigger jars are some of them just came like that but this is just loose glitter drawer number one this is loose glitter drawer number two but these are more chunky glitters and bigger pieces this roll came from hobby lobby and a lot of these other pieces that are for encapsulation came from Hobby Lobby. Michaels and Hobby Lobby do have the glitters. A lot of these glitters that we use are uh, craft glitters. You could go and get them cheap at the store instead of buying them from an L supply person. But I also recommend go to AliExpress. That's where all of these big bags came from. And they allow me to be able to mix. Um, these big bags allow me to be able to mix up my own thing in such sparing amounts but they last forever like these little bitty bags that i got from glitter planet they're gonna last forever you know it doesn't take a lot of glitter to get your point across <laughs> it doesn't take a lot of product at all when you're doing nails to get your point across i got this from nail heaven so yeah just a bunch of places that i get my glitters from these are the more chunky ones these are well let me let me look in here this right here is nail forms they came with something that i got for free i didn't even buy them these are little flashies they're like handheld led lights for if you're doing like really big stones or if you're doing something and you want to cure it but it might move these are flashies you just put it up to the nail just put a battery in it click it put it up to the nail and it'll like flash here these are really really big stones that i got off of aliexpress i'm talking like a b and clear round 50s 40s like some of the biggest stones that i've seen be non Swarovski and just have that glare and be so pretty so i got some clear ones and i got some a b ones of that and all the rest of these stones minus this because these are more more molds to make gel polish hearts and stars and all type of stuff those are the molds for those all the rest of these are hot flakes fumbled the bag y'all i talked about that too um <laughs> in a different video about how i was going to buy stones and i bought so many and i didn't realize the difference in between hot flick and non-hot flick and yeah i just fumbled that so those are majority high flick stones that i don't even use up here this is that um that oil resistant um paper towel i told you about well it's not oil resistant but it's made for doing oil changes there you go there you go jacayla it's made for doing oil changes and it's really good at absorbent this is a viva paper towel i still feel that i do need both but just for two different reasons this is by my barber side this is clarol swaps this is empty white thing right here is empty all of these let me move this just so you can see a little bit better Let me put it on back. All of these came from Walmart. $3 to $3.50 a piece. And I use the bigger ones for encapsulating. This one is bigger. You can see some of them are chunky. And then some of the fine ones I use for sugar nails. And I use them several, several, several times. And they're going to last forever. That's one of the most 
easiest and inexpensive cute effects that you can get on a nail. It's just doing a sugar nail. So I love doing sugar nails. These are the tips I'm using currently right now. If my clients get coughing, I'm using these e-basket tips because they're already... Can you kind of tell? You can kind of tell with this one. They're slightly pinched to a tapered square. Not quite coughing, but they kind of are. They're just not like a super narrow coughing. So I'm getting that effect really easy by using those. But I always love the trusty dusty McCart tips too. So between the McCart tips and natural and clear, and between the e-basket e tips and natural and clear, that's currently what I'm using. But in here, I have so many. So many. When I run out of a size, I do know how to make the next size up work for me, and I will do that. But I'm also gonna rebuy. That's just what I'm gonna do. So I also bought these um McCart tips for when I run out of some more tips, and then all in the wrong place. I don't even know what is here. So let's let's put these. Where it's supposed to go because that's not even supposed to be in there, but that's just a bunch of stones I bought that I forgot I had. More for tips, so yeah, those are currently the tips I'm using. These are the tips I use on myself. I try to keep a standard with my clients so that if they miss a nail, I know exactly what tip I use. So I'm I just stay in this one spot. I used to do all type of different tips, they missing a straight tip, I'm using a curved tip, it used to get confusing. So, I just keep it right there for them. But me, I like to experiment. They're basically gone. I used them up. The popular sizes I used up. But these uh, EVB Creative Easy Coffin Long Stiletto Tips were so great. I have these ones from Amazon. I also was using these for my client. Why did I stop? I don't know. They are kind of pre-shaped to a coffin too. I have nothing against them though. <laughs> These are extremely curved. I do not like curved nails, but I keep them on deck just in case somebody requests them. You can kind of see how curved they are. I'm not a curved nail type of girl. These are some more of those. Those are some BU tips in the bottom. I had a big kick on those back in the day right now these are my favorite these are the xxl c curve tips they give you that nail form look that i love so much that nail form look is so classic and it's so clean to me and i love straight nails so it's nothing like that nail form precision um so you get that effect with these c curve tips got those from zule what are these that i got from zule pre-shaped coffins these are pre-shaped c curve coffin i don't think i've used these y'all i don't think i used these a single time wow i don't think i used those a single time i need to use those because those look really really cute and these are glitter glitter planet tips they are quite long they are already pre-pinched to a tapered square type of coffin shape and i really like those a lot i was using those a lot for a period of time but i haven't used them in a while here is some more bling this is mostly what i use on my clients i got some big shapes some designer some snakes some gucci some bigger pieces that are just oddly shaped. Let me open it, Jesus. Jacayla, get the presentation. I told y'all this was a humble viewing. <laughs> okay, so I got shapes, big pieces. Some of these really cute, little colorful. Um, I don't even know what the shapes are. They're just like multi-shape. I got these. I do believe these are 12. Um, it says 12. non Swarovski, but just very pretty. And then these are the theme shape for like Halloween and New Year's and Under the Sea and all types of vibes up in there. And so, yeah, I use this. This is mostly what I pull from unless they request something different. That's the go-to. Okay, this is a whole bunch of ab stones from ss3 to ss20 and this is also mostly what i use so this in conjunction with the pink one is really how i get it done most of the times if my client wants minimal bling 
which most of them do want minimal bling, so that works. Then I got my Swarovski and AB mix. So these are the ABs, the big ABs, and all the ones with the white label. Some random pixies from AliExpress. But all these ones with the white label are all Swarovski. And I keep them over here. I got that one that's semi full. And then I have this one too. These are, do not have the white label because I wasn't thinking. And I tossed the white label. I was so excited to just get everything put in here. I didn't realize that I wanted to keep the white label so I could know what color is which. Because I don't even know what a lot of this is called. But next time... I will have a little bit more patience and remember to label them because that helps a lot. But yes, that's the bling that I pull from mostly. These are the soak off bowls that I use. I showed y'all the other ones that I used to use, but the acetone goes in here. The hot water goes in there. I boil the water that's in the electric kettle and then after i'm done with the soak off i throw away the dirty water put the water inside back into the electric kettle and i just keep recycling boiling water it's perfect like honestly a perfect system and this is my preferred way to soak off now i like it these q-tips come in handy in all types of ways i don't know but i just needed them any type of little mess, any type of little cleanup job, they come in perfectly handy when I'm doing fields and I have to do a lot of filing down. I have to use these. So that's that. More tips, just like the ones I showed you, the press on tips. I told you that when I really like something, I go crazy because I don't want to ever not be able to find it. I did kind of snap and went too hard, but <laughs> that's a lot of tips. This is just the box and the charger that came with the airbrush machine you already saw. This is the label maker. This is some extra tape for the label maker. I like to be organized. If it's not something that I could just write down, then I have to, you know, go ahead and label it. This is a straight nail clipper. I already have two that I'm using. And then I think I got another two um, over here waiting to be used. This is a nipper unused. Some random files. These are sponges. Another pair of goggles and gloves. So y'all, that was all five of these drawers. And we making our way. We almost there. Okay, y'all. We are now at the desk and the drawer set this by the desk this is what i use um these two cutting boards i used when my desk was not mon monomer and acetone friendly it's dirty but it's definitely monomer and acetone friendly now when it wasn't i was using these this is a nail glue dryer it works for bling glue and for just regular nail glue i have a swipe extremely dehydrating i know alcohol is the first ingredient is it Yes, it's the first ingredient in this, but I feel like this is more drying than alcohol. It's like an alcohol acetone mixture of very dehydrating liquid. It's, it's worth the money to me. You could just use alcohol but or dehydrator of any other kind, but this is the one for me, baby. So I got this um, champagne toast um, lotion that we're using right now for when i'm done with my client services i always switch them out but right now this is the one i'm using oh this feel light this is my speed clear it feels very light that means it's about to be gone and this is my frosted pink speed frosted pink sometimes i use speed frosted pink as a base instead of speed clear i really do love speed frosted pink it's really perfect like it's, it's I have to buy both of these in a big container because that that speed formula, that fast drying speed formula, I love, love, love it. This it looks like me a secret, but it's really not. It's me a secret and it's half regular clear from Young Nails. And I just keep it in here. Cause like I said, that one about to be gone anyway. Got these Sharpies for writing anything or for also doing the tie-dye effect with the sharpie method you could youtube it but if you do nails you know what that is 
have these flowers i do not have the intention of making them look real i know that they're fake they look fake but they are pretty they don't have water in them I'm not about to try to act like they real and put water in them i just wanted them for a prettier aesthetic and then i have a little a little container where i keep my most used bits got five in one got tornado bit for breaking down a product got big ball bit had no idea it was gonna be this big i don't really use it i thought it was gonna be more like this size these um cuticle bits here are genius for doing pedicures i mean manicures or pedicures actually and just getting into them cuticle areas this little spikier version is also good for that but be careful these are also good for breaking down product these are my diamond bits you'll see another one soon but these are two of them and they're my favorite my favorite for finished filing um actually that's really all i use diamond bits is really all i use for finished filing i never resort to carbide bits or you know anything that i used to use i'm just satisfied with the diamond bits as long as they get the job done that's really all that matters and over here is a bucket where i keep swatch sticks so yeah Let's get into what's inside the drawers. This is a drill that I got off Amazon. It's not my favorite, but I always go back to it when my other ones break. Because that one hasn't broke. So it's a trusty dusty. I keep all of my files here. The 80-80 grit files that I showed you. Rectangle shape. Very coarse, very beautiful. Before I was using those, I was using 100-100. Still very beautiful, very nice. But I prefer the 80-80. A glass file, never used it even one time. Never used it even one time, but that's that was bought in like 2019 when I first started doing nails. I was just trying stuff out. This is where I keep randomness. Extra dapping dishes. I have like 10. This glue that I had to buy when I ran out of glue and it just came from a random beauty spot store. This is the preferred glue that I use, KDS. This is nail cutters, nippers straight edge clippers i like using scissors now over nail cutters depends on the type of tip more nippers tweezers all types of things a scissor that you randomly need these really pointy tweezers that give me like eyelash tweezer vibes they're very good for peeling stickers off of things this file needs to go over there this is a little razor that i got from my old job but you'll be surprised the things that you end up needing to cut be surprised how unhandy that comes a bunch of viva paper towels that i cut into squares because i did not want to buy lint free wipes these are the sanding bands i use they're a very fine zebra sanding band i need to go to the nail supply store these are the ones I were using a little bit more coarse, but they got the job done too. But I think they're a different size also. I don't think my mandrel can fit these ones. I think I have to get that size down. This is gel I bought to do that plastic wrap kind of icy look that was trending all last year. And so I bought this gel off of somebody that has a local nail supply store. I did not get the technique down, but that's why I bought that. I have these small little buffers. I use them on my clients. If I feel like my filing is kind of, you know, you can see the lines through it. It's not the most pristine. I use these, but really I use these because I give away one in my press-ons because I sell my press-ons. And so when you buy the press-ons, you get a buffer and you get one of these little miniature files. And I just keep those there. Mixing plates for painting and for mixing. I bought this some time ago because I thought it would be cute in one of my videos. This is my brand name. It is the name of all of my social media and of this YouTube channel. And it's on my logo, JK Beauty. So I thought that that would be cute to put into my nail photos, but it does not really reflect very well i think it would need to be bigger to really just like get that point across or it would need to be a ring if y'all got any hookups on like how to get a name ring like a, a double ring you know let me know 
this is everything that looks like a pencil. It could be an actual wax pencil. Could be a dotting tool. It could be a brush. Anything that's long and looks like a pencil. This is another liner brush. Then it just goes in here. And that's just that. And then I have this for my actual wax pencils that I use to pick stones up. They have to be resharpened so that they can really pick the stones up. And yeah, what is this? Oh, this is a 3D brush for doing flowers. Also, an exacto knife is somewhere in there. And as I said, this should be a random drawer. This is where I sit my drill. These are the bits that I use most often. Cuticle bit. Mandrel. Pana extra coarse bit. The packaging from that 3D brush. The packaging from my new liner brush. A five in one. And the diamond bit that I'm currently using. Also, be lighting candles. So, this is just the lighter from that. This is also what came with um, a turkey baster when I thought that a turkey baster was going to be the best idea for putting monomer into my squeeze jars. That monomer ate that turkey baster right on up. This came with it to clean it, but I had to throw the turkey baster away. So, I'm back to pouring my monomer and spilling it. This came with my argon mount, argon mount, sorry. We're about to see that in a minute when we get into the desk tour. And this is another thing of bits that just came with a random drill. In here, all of these are empty containers of products that I've used or consolidated or mixed. And I saved these containers for future use. And here we are at the table. Across from me, I have the same exact chair that I'm sitting in right now. It's kind of squeaky. It is not really my favorite, but it was very inexpensive, so I can't complain. I hate that the back of it rubs against the wall, and it has chipped the wall from the clients, like, turning in it and, you know, just living and doing regular stuff, not maliciously trying to do it. But, you know, it has just chipped the wall because of the fabric just rubbing up against the wall. I don't know if that's the problem of the wall or the chair, but two things about a chair. I would not get another chair that has arms. When you put arms on a chair, yes, it is the most comfortable, but it also encourages people to lean to the left or the right instead of sit up. And you really want people sitting up, especially you don't want a chair that goes backwards and can kind of recline like this one can. Another thing with a chair, I don't know if I would get a chair that is so low. You know, this chair is on the, on the, a little bit on the lower side. Even though it can go up, it'll come back down eventually. So, yeah, I'll be looking for new chairs in my new setup um, for future reference. Not really pressed about it now, but that's two things about getting a chair. I found that arms are just nothing but an excuse for them to lean, you know. And you really want them to have the best posture possible. Want them to be comfortable, but you want them to have the best posture possible for the end result of the nails so here's the desk believe it or not the desk is clean i just i have really used the desk the desk is lived with baby the desk is lived with this is just a little dusty but really no it's just really just polish and the life of a nail desk okay like i said i didn't want to make it seem like it's something that it's not this is just a clean desk and it's just really stained with gel polish and chemicals this light i got off of amazon it is a very white light and that's really what i wanted it for but it's also um not the brightest light like it's just okay it's just okay it was a nice little 40 dollars. i couldn't expect too much of it and so yeah it's okay then this is my Archon mount. I took one of the, let's move it over. Took one of these pieces off and that's what you just saw. This is the flashy that I was talking about that you have saw me have two, two more of. These are the gel polish swatch sticks. The ones you saw over there are powders. These are my polishes. And these, oh, this is my mask that I'm currently using. I got that from Walmart. 
this is the stand that came with my um hand from ready Guana. it's a very sturdy like even just opening this you got to put force so it's very very sturdy the wire also is very sturdy and so i just keep it across for me so i can put the hand on here and work right here with this in my face and here we have all the things that i use and grab for constantly this is my primer my no lift primer i just put it in this protein bottle uh, when it finished beetles top coat more beetles top coat i just dropped the primer this is the squeeze tube of zoo that i said i'm loving i'm loving it it's so much smaller than the bottle though but i'm loving it will repurchase i keep this here just so that it can be standing somewhat upright this is the cluster gel from Zule. I have not used it yet. Really want to. This is an extra dapping dish. I also have two more. Don't ask me why I got three dapping dishes. They do come in handy. This is the base coat from IGL Beauty. I got that for free with my huge order over Black Friday. This is the matte top coat from Beatles. Love it. Inexpensive. Good. This is the uh, cuticle remover that I'm using currently. This set together was $18. Just both of these, the cuticle oil and the cuticle remover. But it is recommended. And it is recommended. Sorry, I would recommend it. Um, I like how both of them uh, perform. This is really fast acting. And this is really nourishing. So I do like both of those. This is the Beatles Bling Gel. Very inexpensive. Would recommend for sure. It has held my clients big, big stones for a very long time. This is the Beatles um, Silver Gel Polish. It's just literally a silver gel polish. It's only right here because I was using it recently. And it came in that set of six, if you remember seeing that earlier. This is the no, um, the no burn or the stop burn. If that chemical reaction from monomer and primer or from acrylic and primer is not sitting right in your client's nails are burning just go ahead and look on amazon and type in stop burn for ac acrylic nails and this is the stop it that's literally what it's called but it does work this is my nail cakery is it unicorn yes unicorn cupcake um cuticle oil it's kind of shimmery really cute and gets the job done cute cuticle oil smells delicious and this is the transfer um gel that I'm currently using, which is McCart. I got a backup of this. It does get the job done, but I really want to try this sugar and cream transfer foil gel. And that's just because the way they use it online, it just looks so nice. So let's dust this off. Okay. Now all of that will be going back there soon. This is the garbage that I have. It's not a bag in it because I just changed it. This is the light. And we're back to the front. We're back to the front. Back to the door where we started. Alright y'all. So that was the whole entire room. Like I said, it's very small. It wasn't that much, you know, of a collection. It wasn't that much of a setup. But I really do love where I am now. And I'm so happy I did this video. Because as I grow and get a better setup and put more money and more investment into where I do nails, I love that I can look back on this and see where I came. I wish I would have did a video or took more pictures of my setup when it was very humble and very small because I've come a long way from what I did have when I first, first, first started. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you need any links that I did not link below, just let me know in the comment section. If you have any questions about any of the stuff that I have, just let me know. And until then, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye.